Hello everyone, Melody here, mom of four in our blended family of six. Welcome to Homeschool Happy Hour. Today we're going to jump right in and get a close-up look at the first in a set of three books offered by Life of Fred, focusing specifically on pre-algebra. And that is Life of Fred Pre-Algebra Zero with Physics. If you're interested in getting a close-up look inside this book, please stick with us. Let's check it out. Before we go any further, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow along. We have all kinds of curricular reviews and close-up inside looks, homeschool chatter on this channel, and I'm so happy to have you guys here. If you're new to the channel, drop a comment below and give us a shout out, say hello, tell us about yourself, how long have you been homeschooling, how many kids are you homeschooling. In our home, we are secular homeschoolers. I have been homeschooling for nine years, and I have a kiddo that hates math. She hates it. And so she loves language arts. And I've had many people over the last nine years suggest Life of Fred to me. However, when I've looked at the materials online, it appeared as though they were not a secular material. And so I just chose not to go down that path. We do try and homeschool using exclusively secular materials. If you're a secular homeschooler, you would understand why. But finally, this last year, I got a close-up inside look at Life of Fred. It was actually provided to me by one of our local public schools. They have a homeschooling extension program. We're not a part of that program, but I was talking to the lady that puts it together and telling her about The Prisoner, which is my kiddo that hates math. And she suggested Life of Fred, which I was surprised because it's a public school, they don't allow religious materials. And so she stated to me that in this particular pre-algebra series, that that's not an issue. And so I brought the series home with me so we could take a look at it. And so I want to open this up so you can take a look at it too and see if it's something you're interested in. Before I chatter on any further, let's just jump right on into the book. Here is the Life of Fred Pre-Algebra Zero with Physics book, formerly titled Elementary Physics. It is a hardcover book. It's about yay thick, and it comes from Stanley F. Schmidt. You can see, first thing, they've got some black and white pictures here. There's a little bit of color on the cover, but for the most part, this book on the inside is very black and white. There's not a lot of color pop in here. So if you have a much younger kid that really enjoys color in their math book, maybe they're not quite ready for this one yet. But it is pre-algebra with physics, so likely we're talking about an older kiddo if you're looking at this. Although it really depends. Our kids are all at different stages in their learning journey, so maybe a younger kiddo would like this too. I put a few funny little markers in here to help me along and make sure I note a few things. This one is a note before we begin and it talks about what you can find in this book. You can see down here it says you've got life of Fred fractions, life of Fred decimals and percents which they recommend doing before this book which is life of Fred pre-algebra zero with physics. I have not looked at either of those two books so if you have seen them let us know what you've thought about them. Three things for maximum success. It talks about bridges, which I'll show you in just a second. And it talks about the fact that this book is not consumable. This book is not meant to be written in, which can be a, a good thing if you have multiple children and you don't wanna have to buy new books every time you have a kid coming through, but you'll need paper and a pencil, pen or whatnot so that you can work through the problems in a different space. It gives you, the book is organized into 40 chapters and six bridges to cross. Again, we'll look at that in a second. And it's part of a series. They ask you not to use a calculator, but in the next book, Pre-Algebra 1 with Biology, you will be using a calculator. If your child likes to read, this is a great series, I think, in my opinion. Then we have our table of contents. You have your first six chapters followed by the bridge. Basically, a bridge is an opportunity to show what you have learned in the last six chapters and demonstrate that you're ready for the next set of chapters. We go to the next set of chapters, a bridge, 
we go to the next set, bridge, and so on and so forth. It's pretty straightforward. And then it jumps right into chapter one. Now this book does not come with a teacher's manual. It does potentially come with a second book that you can get, which is called Life of Fred, Zillions of Problems with Pre-Algebra Zero with Physics. So that if you feel that your child is not getting enough uh, practice work inside what they have to offer in this book by itself, that you can add to that. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this starts off with a story. Chapter one is all about friction. It tells the story about how there's this giant safe in the hallway and the kid is trying to figure out how to move it. It has some further explanation at the bottom and it goes through the story of what the kid can do to try and move the safe. Then at the end, it says your turn to play. There are only three problems here and they are word problems. If you're not a word problem person, this might not be a book for you. I am not a word problem person, but my kids are. Well, one of them is. So I have one child that enjoys word problems. She enjoys the story format of this book. I have another child that likes just straight up math problems. So this book probably isn't so much for her. If you want to know the answers to your word problems, all of your complete solutions are on the next page. That's why we don't have a teacher's manual for this because it has everything you need already right there. Our next chapter continues with the story of the safe and talks a little bit more about how they're going to solve this problem. Now, I do like that the story, it's kind of written as if they're talking to the reader, which can be fun for some kids. Go straight to your turn to play. And then again, the complete solutions. If I was using this book more in my home, it's definitely something I think my kids would benefit from if we sat and we did it together, as opposed to me just giving them the book and making it an independent learning opportunity. But it depends on the child. Some kids would take this and they'd prefer an independent learning opportunity. You really just need to know your kid, know their learning style, and figure out what works best for them and you and your schedule. I'm gonna skip straight to the bridge. We talked about having bridges at the end of every six chapters. This is the first bridge, and it explains exactly what that bridge is, how it should be used, and how it should help your student move along. Like I said earlier, it is a chance to show that you understand and remember the physics from the beginning of this book up to that point. Now, you'll notice it's Life of Fred Zero with physics. This book is very heavily focused on physics specifically. And as I was reading through this book, I also noticed it has a lot of history in it. So if you wanted to use this book as a math and a science and a history all wrapped up into one and just expand on those concepts as you go, you absolutely could. I love curriculum that gives that opportunity because I really do like the saying that less is more and it's important to keep it simple. So if I can get multiple things that I need from one book without having to have a teacher's manual and a workbook and a guidebook and all those different steps, I really do appreciate that. Again, I'm not a word problem person, but a lot of people are. So I could absolutely see why this book would work well for a variety of students. If we go back to the end, it doesn't have a lot. We've got our index in the very back, but otherwise this entire book is content for your kid to learn from. I do also prefer that as opposed to some books they have on and on and on about how and why and what and all of that. In this one, it's just straight to business, which I really appreciate. I hope that inside look was helpful for you. I hope it answered some questions. If you have more questions that you wanna ask, make sure you drop those in the comment box below. I have not spent a lot of time using this book. I feel like maybe I should spend more time using this book. It's just, there's so many great things out there. There's not enough time in the day to dig into every single curricula that I want to dig into to the extent that I wanna dig into it. And so this one hasn't quite made it that high on our priority list yet, but as time goes on, maybe it will. Let me know if you have any experience working with Life of Fred, what your thoughts were, and 
maybe that could help somebody else who's trying to make a decision on whether or not this will work for them. Hopefully you've hit that like button, you've subscribed to our channel because I am soon going to be taking a look at the next book in this series, which is Life of Fred Pre-Algebra 1 with Biology. However, for today I am all done, so I will catch you next time.